Hello, and welcome back to Diecast Graveyard. My name is Paul. Thanks for joining me today. We're going to talk about zinc plating your diecast cars. Now, a lot of people ask me about this, and I've done a video on this before in the past, but we're going to go ahead and bring it up to date. Some of the things you're going to need are distilled vinegar, a container to put the material in, which you can get at uh, a hobby store like Michael's or something like that, some sea salt, a zinc strip, kind of like in the middle of the picture there, or in the roll, a D-cell battery, some tape, electrical tape, alligator clips, a cheap aquarium pump, and you should be good to go here. But this is going to be a lot of fun. If you want to learn how to do this, go ahead and stick around. Grab your favorite adult beverage and join in today as we go over zinc plating. Once you have all these materials, we'll go through and I will show you or tell you how to set it up. And then um, you'll have everything you'll need to go ahead and start your zinc plating. The longest part of the process is setting up your solution. So let's go ahead and get started with that. Now one of the first things you're going to do here is pour your distilled white vinegar into the container. Fill it up approximately three quarters full, almost to the top, and that'll be good. You just have to make sure that you've got enough room there in order to submerge your vehicle. Then you're going to take approximately three quarters of a cup of sea salt. Now you can use regular salt here, but I've used the sea salt and it works absolutely fine. Next step you're going to do is you're going to put in a zinc strip. Now when I put this in, it completely dissolved. You've got to let it set for approximately six hours or so. I set it up at night before I went to bed and it completely dissolved. And this is going to be your electrolyte solution. The next step you're going to do is take a D-cell battery. You're going to hit the positive cable on top and the uh, negative cable on bottom and just tape them in place. Now, you don't need those expensive electric machines that they use in order to, uh, to do this, the power supplies, etc. The D-cell battery works absolutely fine. Now, I took some zinc strips here and they were just a little bit too short, so I put two together and then I bent the clip so when you put it into the solution, it rests against the side of the jar, as you see here. Now what you're going to do is you're going to clip the positive terminal to the clip, the zinc strip. And then you're going to take your negative cable and you're going to attach it to your vehicle. Like I said, make sure your positive cable is on your zinc strip that's in the solution and you're going to take the other clip and you're going to clip it to your die cast car that you're going to plate. Now once you put it in, the solution will start working immediately. You'll start to see bubbles hanging off the uh, car as you put it in the solution. Using a clothespin or whatever you got, just sub uh, dangle it there in the solution but make sure that your entire car is submersed in the solution we'll zoom in here and you can see the bubbles coming off the vehicle now notice how there's more bubbles on the right hand side of the car and the reason is is because that's where the zinc strip is and you may have to rotate this during the uh, the whole process here and you're going to leave this in for approximately 15 to 30 minutes. Now also notice that there are bubbles forming on the car. Eventually, if you just leave that long enough, it may leave bubbles on your zinc plating. So that's what the aquarium pump is for. It costs approximately 8 or $9 on uh, Amazon, and that's all you need. You go ahead and put that hose in there with that little filter on the, uh, the bottom and the bubbles will automatically start releasing 
the bubbles that are on the vehicle. There you go, see how that works? Now again, like I said, you'll have to rotate your vehicle and position your bubble machine so it will take the bubbles off the vehicle. And this will give you a nice smooth finish also. The most expensive thing with this process is the zinc material that you're using to create your electrolyte solution. But it works excellent. Now don't forget to hit that subscribe button and click the like button when you're watching the videos. If you're getting anything out of this, go ahead please and click the like button and hit the subscribe button. It definitely helps me out and it allows me to produce videos for you. Let's go ahead and move on. Like I said, you'll let this set for approximately 15 to 30 minutes. Now I went ahead and I rotated the vehicle so you can see that the left hand side of the vehicle now is getting plated. This is probably the best system I've found in order to uh, allow you to zinc plate your vehicles. Now this process here, once you do the um, plating for 15 to 30 minutes and you get it out, you're going to have to go ahead and rub it down either with sandpaper or steel wool. I find that steel wool works better. Now if you want to, you can place another zinc tab on the opposite side of the jar and connect it with, two, with another wire and just leave it bare in the middle of the wire where you hook up your battery. That will allow you to be able to plate the car on both sides at the same time. All right. Now you can see here, and this is just a small example of what it looks like when your vehicle is zinc plated. Now what's really good about this is once you do it two or three times, it's going to fill in all those little nooks and crannies that are in the vehicle itself. Now this is only done for about five, five to ten minutes at the most. The reason you have to polish it in between is because when the zinc plating goes on the vehicle, if you looked at it under a microscope, the surface would be extremely rough, okay? So you have to smooth it out first, or in between coats here, in order for you to be able to polish it up and make it look really good. And if you, pol if you uh, zinc plate it too many times, it's going to start to fill in your details, like the little slits on the uh, top of the, uh, the hood there where your uh, windshield wipers would go, etc. Now let's go ahead and polish this up just a little bit. Here I'm using a brass brush because it's pretty soft, but you still have to be careful here because it's only a light coat. And this is again another reason why you want to put about three or four coats on there, but you have to polish it in between each coat. I mean, at least uh, take the, the gray off there. Now see how sometimes I brushed it a little bit too hard and some of that zinc plating came off. Again, you want to go light. I would use some steel wool here in this particular case. But you can already tell that the zinc plating process is working good. I went ahead and zinc plated it again and you can see that the gray is definitely building up on there. Well, we're going to use some steel wool this time instead of using the brass brush. So like I said, it, be it uh, becomes a little bit too harsh sometimes, but you're going to have to just uh, judge it on your own. This is definitely a nice way to cover up any toning that may be on your vehicle 
or filling in some of the little imperfections that they may have had during the manufacturing process. Now I could probably do this another three or four times, but again, if you keep doing it, it's going to start filling in the uh, detail of the vehicle. But this is just another way to help you through your die cast hobby. If you happen to have any questions or anything, just go ahead and get a hold of me in the comments. I do my best to answer all the questions that you may have. And again, if you're, if you're getting anything out of these videos, go ahead and hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button. I've got all kinds of things coming out in the future that will help you with your die cast hobby. But uh, don't be afraid to reach out to me. I'm pretty approachable, I believe. But um, that's zinc plating in a nutshell, guys. And you don't have to spend a fortune to do it. Thank you for joining me today in Diecast Graveyard. I really do uh, enjoy making these videos for you. Please like and subscribe. I keep saying it. I really need your help. But i um, got a lot more videos coming out. And if there's something you want to see, go ahead and leave it in the comments, and I'll do my best to make it happen. Take care, and cheers.